everybody. I'm David Posnick, and I was Amir Khan's personal trainer for two years for his films, Doom 3 and PK. In this video, I'm going to share with you the exact diet I created for Amir for the final two months before we started shooting Doom 3. To be sure, he looked super lean with his shirt off. Soon, I'll be releasing another video on the diet we use to help Amir build muscle mass earlier in the process. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to hear about that as soon as it comes out. I have put a link in the description below so that you can download this diet for free, but you'll need to adjust it to your needs. Amir's fat loss diet consists of five small meals a day plus one protein shake. Now, having those five smaller meals, this allowed Amir to get the macronutrients he needed throughout the day to keep his energy up and also helped him avoid those cravings that make you want to reach for a snack between meals. Also, as Amir is a vegan now, I collaborated with Vegan Bearded Guy on this video to provide you veg and vegan alternatives for each meal. So let's jump right in. Each morning, I'd show up at Amir's house and we'd hang out and chat over a cup of tea or depending on the conversation, four or five or six cups of tea. Now, caffeine seriously is great before a workout, but since our goal was to get Amir super lean for the film, we did cut out the cream and sugar completely during this period. Then we'd have some breakfast. The egg in the omelet, which can be replaced with a tofu scramble if you're a vegan, got protein into his system right away. This jumpstarts the metabolism and gets the body moving. All those vegetables, of course, provide all kinds of nutrition and fiber. And for a little pro tip, keep in mind that a lot of the vitamins, the minerals, the pigments in those vegetables are water soluble. What that means is that the body doesn't actually store them. So I would have Amir eating bits of vegetables throughout the day to make sure his body had what it needed when it needed it. Now, with his veggie omelet, Amir would have a slice of whole wheat toast. This was just to get some complex carbohydrates into him so he'd had enough energy to really push hard through our rather intense weightlifting session. Lastly, he'd have a handful of almonds or some other nut, as it's always a good idea to include at least a bit of healthy fat in each meal. This is especially true if you're lifting weights and even more so if you're over 40. We produce less testosterone as we get older, and getting enough healthy fats will help your body produce more of it by itself. Then, right before we started our workout, we would watch a video about Amir Khan's fat loss diet and we would hit that like button. We actually never did that, but you should definitely do that right now. Hit the like button. Then we'd hit the gym, where I pushed Amir hard. Amir is a beast when he lifts. So instead of waiting until after, I'd have him sip his protein shake during the last 15 minutes or so of the workout instead. This gave him a little extra energy boost. That way he could really push 100% through his very last rep. Then we would take a 45 minute break. This full break is so that Amir could really rest and recharge. This allowed us to get the full maximum gains from both our weights and our cardio session. Now, right at the beginning of the break, we'd have a bowl of oatmeal with banana and some almonds chopped up into it. That banana, it gets digested into the bloodstream right away. That way Amir would have a nice little burst of energy to start the cardio. That oatmeal is a great slow digesting complex carbohydrate. That means it'll help fuel the entire cardio session. Oatmeal is also a great source of both protein and fiber, which is why it's a staple for weightlifters and bodybuilders. Then, time for cardio. After cardio, it was time for lunch. Since we just finished a massive workout, we wanted to make sure that Amir got a solid blend of proteins and carbs, hence the chicken breast and brown rice. Of course, if you're vegan, the chicken can be replaced with tempeh or tofu. The protein in that chicken 
provides the amino acids that Amir needed to rebuild those muscle fibers we were tearing while lifting weights. The complex carbs in that brown rice help restore his glycogen supply. Replenishing glycogen is crucial for anyone after a workout, but it was even more important for Amir because he would often go from these super long, crazy intense workouts straight into like 10 or 12 hours of meetings and film prep. So he really needed to have plenty of energy to stay at the top of his game, both physically and mentally. Now, in the afternoon, we'd have another small meal to keep his energy up and his cravings down. For this one, he'd have just some dal for protein, a piece of chapati for some complex carbs, and another small serving of those awesome vegetables. For dinner, I had Amir eat grilled salmon with vegetables or a salad, and a small portion of either brown rice or chapati. Now, if you're veg or vegan, you can replace that salmon with tofu or tempeh or seitan, all of which grill up quite nicely. Then, Amir would have some nuts and a small serving of fruit for dessert. I also gave him one extra serving of fruit in his diet that he could have any time he wanted during the day. Now again, this was to help him resist those cravings so he wasn't tempted to snack between meals. After all, if the best workout is the one you do, the best diet plan is the one you stick to. Now, while dinner seems similar to his other meals, there are a few important differences to point out. Firstly, for dinner, he'd have a larger serving of protein, in this case, the salmon. This helped ensure that he would have optimum recovery from our workout and be ready to do it all again the next day, and the next day, and the next day. He also had a smaller portion of carbs, as this was right before bed. Then, we had the most important meal of the day. A huge serving of at least eight hours of sleep. Seriously, getting enough sleep is totally crucial for both building muscle and burning fat. Luckily, Amir is an incredibly hard worker both in the gym and afterwards, and he was equally committed to his sleep. I truly believe that this commitment to diet, workouts, and sleep is how we had such a huge success with his body transformation for Doom 3. As I mentioned earlier, very soon I'll be releasing a video about Amir's diet when we were building muscle mass. I'm also working on a whole series of videos on the exact workouts I created for Amir to get him ripped for these films. Lastly, we have a longer video about his full body transformation for Doom 3. That one's coming out in just a few weeks. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and then dance around your living room because we have got a lot more great content coming for you soon. I'm David Posnick with Posnick Training. We'll see you soon.